Thank you, Chair. Um, this motion, uh, which is about winning the backing of the Assembly and getting the Mayor to join us for the new campaign by Generation Rent, ACORN, the New Economics Foundation and the London Renters' Union uh, to remove Section 21 of the Housing Act 1988. This lets landlords evict tenants basically when they want without doing anything more than issuing a notice. It's the no fault eviction clause and it's one of the major causes of the worst, most damaging uncertainties about renting. 80% of evictions are on these no-fault grounds and 63% of private renters who were forced to move in 2016 were evicted not due to any fault of their own but because the landlord wanted to sell or use their property for something else. Evictions from the private rented sector are the leading cause of homelessness and for every person who avoids homelessness after a Section 21, there's still a huge hidden cost in stress, disruption to work and family life and all the costs of moving. The total harm is huge. When I first moved to London, our new landlord served us one of these at the same time as we signed the rental agreement. Um, it was dated a year ahead, produced at the last minute. We basically had no choice but to, to take it. And I've lost count of the number of friends and colleagues who've had a Section 21 eviction, often at the last possible time they would have chosen to move. It's so common. My renters survey in 2016 showed that 43%, nearly half of renters, had had to move at some point when they didn't want to. This year, one of my council candidate colleagues, Kirsten, got a Section 21 and was made to move home a few weeks before Election Day, counting her out of working in our ward right when it would have made the most difference, but she had no choice. I'm still a renter. Um, and I'm now at quite an advanced age, and Kirsten isn't generation rent either. She has <laughs> close to a couple of decades on me, and she really just wants a secure home. She was on the news last week talking about being one of these lifelong renters, and she said this, I need to be alert at all times to the possibility I might have to up sticks again in six months' time. I keep looking at ads to let just in case, and you can't expect people to live like that. She also said that with the government consulting on changes to tenancy lengths, possibly if you ask for them without any real controls on having the rent hiked, but she said at least that was something uh, that was, it was good. Someone was listening at last. And it, and it kind of is. Politics has moved on, even since the Assembly looked at this last in 2016. Even the more right side of politics has moved on a lot in terms of considering changes to renting that were not acceptable even a few years ago. And it's the renters who are the ones who made us listen. In the 2016 London election, their campaigning was phenomenal. And all the parties put some measures for renters somewhere in their manifestos. I mean, some more than others. Um, it wasn't usually the main mayoral candidates who turned out to the housing hustings and the renting hustings, but it, it was progress. And the new mayor has done some of what he promised. He set up a proper team here, for example, um, in City Hall to work on the private rented sector alongside boroughs. Um, there are new things coming out in terms of information for renters. And as an assembly, we're listening hard too. We already passed a good motion in November 2016, asking the mayor to push harder on powers and to continue to press the government for the devolution of more powers over the private rented sector in London. He listened to us and the new draft of the housing strategy now has a new policy section which involves considering what rent stabilisation or rent control measures might involve and how they could work for London once the new London model of private rented sector tenancy reform is complete. I'm asking him how long that will be but it is again progress. But we also need uh, the Mayor lobbying to change the Housing Act in the way this motion sets out. Um, this is a change in national legislation that would help London so much, as well as the rest of the country. It would genuinely improve the balance of power between renters and their landlords, which is so off at the moment, that even the government's new plans for allowing these slightly longer tenancies got this reaction from one landlord. Um, they said, if this becomes law, I will sell my property, as I couldn't face the hassle of possible issues. As another of my former colleagues reacted on Twitter, these are people's homes, first and foremost, not a low-hassle investment opportunity. Yes, renters need landlords, but we need landlords who want to be and work as landlords and who will respect us. Renters like me are crying out for the change in this motion. More than 45,000 of us have so far signed the campaign's petition. We, as an assembly, should support them and add our voice to theirs. So please vote for this motion. Thank you very much. Any more speakers on this?
Assembly Member Berry to sum up, please. Um, I, won't, I won't say very much. I just haven't heard anything in opposition to this motion that shows um, even the tiniest bit of respect for renters who, will, who want to stay on in their homes after paying their rent and looking after the property. If you do that, you should have the right to stay in your home. Uh, six months security, followed by um, the, the endless threat of, uh, 20, of uh, Section 21, that's not secure housing. Secure housing is, is fundamental, and so many Londoners lack that now. The amount of renters in London is equivalent to the entire population of Birmingham, living under conditions of extreme uncertainty. Um, one landlord um, answering the Generation Rent um, post on their website says, landlords do not evict good tenants. Well, they do. They do all the time. They've evicted so many of my colleagues, so many of my friends, so many of my family. This isn't fair when it happens. You need a good reason to chuck someone out of their home. And if landlords don't want to provide long-term homes for people, then maybe they shouldn't be landlords. But we need, we need this security of getting rid of Section 21. It would be fundamentally a benefit for, for renters. And if the rest of the um, the side, this side of the chamber um, doesn't respect that, then, uh, then, then don't vote for the motion. But I, I trust the Assembly as a whole will pass it. Thank you. Those in favour of the motion, please show. Twelve in favour, Chairman. And those against. One, two, three, four, five against, Chairman. That's Thank you. Motion is carried.